two things that people hire me to help their salespeople do on the low level, okay? But again, doesn't matter how long a salesperson has been working in their role, it matters do they know these two things or not. This is Jason Cadigan, president of Sales on Fire. I wanna to talk to you for a minute today about what people hire me to do in the sales training field, especially. Sometimes it's group work, sometimes it's sales force development, sometimes it's one-on-one -on -one coaching to bust through a limiting belief that a high-functioning, otherwise high-functioning salesperson is blocking themselves with because they don't even know they have it. There was a time when I spent a couple hours talking to a guy who was had been successful and was running into a lot of trouble and we busted this thing it turned out the guy was afraid of being successful in his new business because if he was he'd move to the East Coast he would have to pack up with his family he was afraid and move back to the West Coast where he really didn't want to go and so he was undermining his own efforts unconsciously because he didn't want to be successful because that would mean he would have this fate that he didn't want. Okay? Stuff like this is going on between your ears and your salespeople's ears all the time. Now, from a technical aspect, let's talk about why people hire me, why people buy the Sales on Fire program. Most of the time it is to do two things. Two things that you would think every salesperson knows how to do, but the truth is they don't. That is, reach qualified decision makers. Just reach them. Now people have been doing sales roles for 20 years and not known how to do this. And then they, their bosses have brought me on to help out. <laughs> okay? 20 years. You know why? There's two types of people. There are people like me who do 20 years, let's say, and they do the same job, but they do it differently every year. Okay? What I did in 2011 is not what I'm doing today and is not what I was doing in 2014. And what I'm doing today is not going to be what I'm doing in 2018. Then there's the other type of person who does the same first year of the job over and over and over again. Their 18th year is the same as the first. Didn't learn a thing. Going off soft referrals. Okay, You need to learn how to reach decision makers. The second thing that companies hire me to help their sales staff with is to start a conversation so that there is a rest of the call. Most salespeople, again, are so bad at this, they launch into features and benefits. That's not what that prospect needs to hear right now. You hammering them with features and benefits, they don't care yet. You have a little ways to go before you get into the demo phase. The demo phase is at the end or near the end of the sales process. It's not at the beginning. You are making a mistake if you or your sales staff are out there doing demos first off. It's not effective. Will you get sales? I guess so, yes. Eventually you're gonna run into a lie down. Somebody who goes, wow, I've been waiting for someone just like you to come along and show me something like this, fine. You wanna grind through the 100 demos you have to do? That's exhausting. To people who really aren't interested, people who are not a fit, there are easier ways to get there, my friend. So, two things that people hire me to help their sales people do on the low level. Okay, but again, doesn't matter how long a salesperson has been working in their role, it matters do they know these two things or not. How do you reach decision makers consistently and how do you start conversation so that you can dig in and get to the rest of the call, have a real conversation with a prospect. If your salespeople don't know how to do these things, if you don't know how to do these things, then we should speak. This is Jason Cadigan from Sales on Fire. Thanks for watching.